Nelson Tethers, Department of Puzzle Research. Just arrived in Scoggins, Minnesota. There's a weird man staring at me. Some kind of situ thing going on at the local eraser factory. Locals report hearing whispers. Snow must be playing tricks on my eyes. For a second I thought I saw... Eraser factory is back open, even though foreman Isaac Dabner remains missing. The bureau's marking this case officially closed. Ingram? Oh, hiya, Nelson. Thought you'd left for the night. How are things going in vegetable crimes? The guys in Leafy Greens are pretty busy, but you know how dull it is in roots and tubers. We haven't had a real case since the Tarot murders back in 76. What I wouldn't give to see some field action like you did. Puzzle Division! Wow! Jim, Puzzle Division isn't that exciting. Come on, Nelson. You were out of the office a whole week. Are you looking through the Scoggins file? I sure am. Oh, I hope you don't mind. It's just, I'm kind of a fan. You didn't just reopen some eraser factory. You completely cracked that case like it was some first-timer's letter substitution puzzle. Yeah, cracked that case wide open. So, what are you doing in my office? Check it out. I just solved the latest from Japanese puzzle master Hanji Monosaki. It's rated four dragons. Looks like you've got some competition in the puzzle solving department. Yeah. About that. Nice try, Jim, but you see here... Oh, I didn't even notice that. Don't worry, you almost... Hey, Jim, if you like puzzles, maybe you could do me a huge favor. I'm gonna be taking some time off, and I've still got all these tapes from the Scoggins case. You want me to log them into evidence? These tapes must have all the puzzles. Thanks, Jim. And I'll probably be recording more notes while I'm away. No problem. Just mail them back to me and I'll file them through Vegetable Crimes. Thanks for the help, Jim. Yeah, Nelson. Have a good trip to... wherever. The Bureau's marking this case officially closed, but I can't leave it like this. The factory foreman is still missing. There has to be some rational explanation for all the things I've seen. It's going to take all my vacation time, but I won't be able to relax until I found Isaac Dabner and got to the bottom of this case. The only way to do that 
is to go back to Scoggins, Minnesota. I'm finally back in Scoggins. The place is a lot quieter at night. I don't see any of the familiar townspeople. I'm going to check into Valda's Inn and get a fresh start on the case in the morning. Agent Tethers. Good evening, Mrs. Garrett. Oh, dear. I mean, good evening, Agent Tethers. I didn't expect to see the FBI back here in town. Not now that the Eraser Factory's back up and running. This is just a personal trip. Has anyone heard from the factory foreman, Isaac Davner? What? Who? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, I don't recall anyone with that name. Hmm. I never did get to try your famous hot dish. Oh, well, have a seat and I can whip up. I mean, we're all out. No, sir, not a scrap of it anywhere. Can't make any hot dish for the guests just come in from the cold. Oh, that's disappointing. Yeah. I suppose the factory's still running with no problems? Oh, yeah. Our plant supplies the White House with all of its erasers, don't you know? Yes, ma'am. It's a national treasure. And you helped us get to the bottom of that nasty incident like a real town hero. Well, it was no... Which is why it's so unusual that you'd be back in town again. Do you know where I can get some chewing gum? Gum? Oh my, no. You won't find a stick of it anywhere in town. Not until spring at the earliest, and maybe not even then. Why do you say that? There have been rumblings in the town council trying to ban it within city limits. But gum's the only thing that helps me concentrate. Yeah, it's all part of the new Keep Scoggins Beautiful campaign. It's just a darn shame. You can see pieces stuck to walls and trees everywhere you look. Hmm. I'll be on the lookout for it. Could I get the same room I had last time? Oh no. Oh dear. Uh, this is terrible. We've... er... Uh, uh, we're completely booked up, I'm afraid. No vacancies. No vacancies? In Scoggins? Oh yeah. Lots of, you know, tourists. Here for the snow and, uh, erasers. Look. You can see here for yourself.
It looks like there's a room available. Hmm, well, uh, isn't this embarrassing? Ah, that room is being, uh, fumigated. Ghosts. Ghosts? No, not ghosts. The, the other thing. Bed bugs? Oh, heavens no. Of course it's not bed bugs. It's, uh, uh painters. The room's being fumigated for painters? Don't be silly, Agent Tethers. I mean to say, the room's being painted. I'm sorry, but you'll just have to look somewhere else. But it's freezing, and this is the only hotel in... Yeah, no vacancies. You'll just have to go outside. Stove still working fine, Ms. Garrett? Good, then I just won't go anywhere near it ever again. Goggins hasn't wasted any time making me feel unsettled and unwelcome. Tried to check into the hotel, only to be told there were no vacancies. Unless the town's become a tourist hotspot, the innkeeper is trying to hide something. Just heard something from the alley behind the hotel. The alley where I saw one of those creatures. I'm going to... Investigate. It's just the door. The noises in the alley turned out to be nothing more sinister than a back door to a warm room for the night. There has to be a reason Mrs. Garrett doesn't want anyone to know I'm staying here. But that, oh, is a mystery for tomorrow. Hmm. For a second, I thought I saw someone on the street below. Probably just my imagination. I wonder if I could sneak this painting out in my carry-on luggage. Ah, a hidden people lamp to stare at me all night while I sleep. Comforting. Another puzzle solved. It's clear now that the mysteries of Scoggins go deeper than the incident at the Eraser Factory. And I'm convinced I made the right choice to come back. Assuming, of course, I make it through the night.
Huh? It's no good. Someone knows I'm in town because I've just received a note. Isaac Davner does not exist. I won't have any idea what that means until I've gotten enough information to solve the puzzle on the other side. My first priority tomorrow is to take this note into town and find out what these names have in common. Stupid flyers. Uh, crash of a black moon. Um, excuse me. Daryl wasn't? Hang on, I'm bit. Hey, you're that FBI guy. Special Agent Tethers, Puzzle Research Division. Yeah, well, I've got a missing person case for you guys to solve. The factory foreman? That's old news. I'm talking about my brother Daryl. Could you tell me more about your brother's disappearance? We were out past Sassamy Woods a couple of days ago. Daryl split off on his own because he said we were in Barrelope country. Barrelope? Oh, they're real. Don't doubt it. A and he was scared of them. Scared? Nah, he went hunting for them. Haven't seen them since. Is there anything else you can tell me about Daryl? He's allergic to walnuts. What do you want to know? Not much to it, Mr. FBI. He went missing out past Sesame Woods, and somebody needs to go look for him. Have you seen or heard from Isaac Davner since I left? Who? The foreman of the Eraser Factory. He went missing after the factory shut down. Oh yeah, him. Yeah, figures. People here go missing all the time. Do you know anything about the hidden people? Great. My brother goes missing, and the FBI comes to ask me about forest gnomes. You don't believe in them? You should have come here earlier, when I was four years old, and listened to bedtime stories. Where have you been putting up those flyers? I've been getting permission first. It's legal. Need any help? Sure. Federal tax dollars at work. There you go. That should get everybody in town on the lookout for Daryl. I doubt it in this town. People disappear all the time in Skagans. Nobody even notices anymore. There have been other missing people? Plenty others. Even that researcher over at the campground had his buddy go missing just last week. Hmm. Do you know where I could... He's got a trailer at the Wallows campground. 
Name's Alfred uh, something or other. Have fun, Mr. FBI. Try looking for my brother while you're at it. It sounds like Isaac Davner is just one of many missing people around Scoggins. The cases might all be related. I'm heading to the Wallows to ask a researcher there about his missing friend. Uh, and look for Daryl's brother, of course. Fire pit hasn't been used since the last thaw, assuming this place ever thaws. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a researcher. You found one. I'm Special Agent Tethers with the FBI Puzzle Research Division, Dr. Verstecht. But that's my father's name. Call me Alfred. I'm doing anthropological research here in Scotland. I'm a student of mankind. Someone in town said your friend had gone missing? Friend? Oh, yes, they must be talking about my graduate student, Will Medlock. Very bright young man. Disappeared, oh, when was that? Two months ago? That was before the incident at the eraser factory. But no one mentioned it before. Can't say I'm surprised. Local law enforcement was no help. Yes, I I've met the local law enforcement. People here are more interested in puzzles than missing people. Is there anything else you can tell me about this missing grad student, Will? Well, now that I think about it, I wonder if spending time in Scoggins was starting to have an effect on him. How do you mean? He became unfocused. Talked about nightmares and whispers. I didn't think much of it at the time. He walked away in the middle of one of my discussions about the transformative power of myth and legend. I thought he was just bored, but I never saw him again. What is an anthropologist doing in Scoggins, Minnesota? Same thing an anthropologist does anywhere else. I'm studying people. The people of Scoggins? Is there enough to study? Oh my, yes. The shared reality made by the people and their folklore. I've been here for years, and I've just barely scratched the surface. Don't you get the sense that this is a town on the cusp of something big? Their folklore, their fascination with puzzles. It's as if the energy of thought is being transformed into solving one of the great problems of our age. How long have you been here in Scoggins? Well, let's see, about 15 years? I'm on my eighth government grant. Do you know anything about the missing factory foreman, Isaac Davner? Ah, yes. Fascinating story, that. A real suburban myth in the making. To the people of Scoggins, he's the archetype of the martyr. The ritual sacrifice made as an attempt to assert control over capricious nature. Wait a second. Davner is not a myth. He's a real person. I've met him. Myths are real, Agent Tethers. We're all characters playing roles. The hero in a quest for truth. The wise, mysterious sage who serves as his guide. Wise. Right. You must know something about the local stories, about gnomes. The hidden people? Well, of course. They're the ones who brought me here in the first place. I'm studying the myth and worship of the hidden people. Oh, then you've dealt with that cult, the Brotherhood of Scoggins. Oh my, yes. Frightfully mad, all of them. Be careful, Agent Tethers. Their devotion to the hidden people makes them extremely driven and extremely dangerous. Thanks for your time, Alfred. If you hear any more about Isaac Davner or your missing friend, please let me know. I've just spoken with a mild-mannered but extremely driven agent from the FBI. He was looking for information about the hidden people and the rash of disappearances in the area, including young Wills. Of course, if he's investigating a missing persons case, he'd best talk to Sheriff Bogg. 
The sheriff may not be helpful, but he is the one man in town with information about all the missing residents. What he said. I'm finally desperate enough to visit Sheriff Boggs' office, but he's already working against me. A note on the door says, out to grab a bite. If I want any answers, I'll have to head to the Moose Ear Diner. A note on the door says, out to grab a bite. If I want any answers, I'll have to head to the Moose Ear Diner. disappearance has got to be tied into all of this somehow. Place just isn't the same without the Daryls, boxing up insects and being generally annoying. 
distribution of weight between herds. Twelve votes to title compensation circuit. The Whispers. Oh. Hi, Steve. You're that FBI agent. Grapples? Tethers. Have you seen Isaac Davner around town? Davner? The old eraser factory foreman? Oh, nobody's seen him since the incident. What can you tell me about the hidden people? I'm not into that anymore. The market dropped out on no figurines. No, I mean real ones. Real hidden people? Are you trying to catch me saying something crazy? Is this entrapment? There seem to be a lot of missing persons cases around Scoggins. Yeah, stuff happens. Did you know any of the missing people? I don't talk to a lot of people in town. Just here for business. Are you okay, Steve? You seem tense. I'm not tense. Lots of people have trouble sleeping. It doesn't mean anything. How long have you had trouble sleeping? Since the eraser factory reopened. Why? Just asking. How's business? I'm not into tchotchke smuggling anymore, if that's what you're asking. No, I, I was just... You can't prove anything. Calm down. Okay. It's that I just can't figure out this problem. Maybe you can help.
foreman's wife, Glory Davner, is still working at the diner as if nothing's happened. Even though her husband's still missing, and the last time I saw her, she was using a chainsaw to try to drown me under a lake of ice. I still don't know how she's involved, but I'd better make it clear I'm only trying to help if I want to get any information. Mrs. Davner, Glory, I think Isaac must have been involved in something big. I don't have any idea what you're talking about. Hello, Sheriff Bog. Agent Heathers, what are you doing back in town? We got everything under control and we don't need the FBI poking its... Calm down, Sheriff. I'm just here on personal leave. Hmm. Well, I keep my eye on tourists just the same as FBI agents. When I filed my report with the Bureau, I left out the part about you holding me at gunpoint. Come on, Tethers. I don't know how you boys do things in Washington, but out here, sometimes a man's got to do what he's got to do, even if it means drawing a gun on a fella. What? I hope you've started to take Bjorn's cult seriously. I'm convinced they're behind the disappearance of Isaac Davner. What? That's crazy. The Brotherhood of Scoggins are valued members of this community. I'm not gonna let them be harassed by anybody, FBI or no. I've heard that Isaac Davner is only one of the people to go missing around Scoggins. What can you tell me about the other disappearances? What can I tell you? Nothing. Sure, I got files on all the so-called missing persons. And I don't have to show them to any FBI man, especially one who's not here on official business. I believe the hidden people have something to do with the incident at the factory. Agent Tannen, please. Just because we don't live in some fancy city doesn't mean you can treat us like gullible yokels. You've been just as helpful as always, Sheriff Bog. Glad to be a service, Agent Chathers. Enjoy your time in our town, and behave yourself. Agent Tethers. Ah! We need to talk, outside. What did you need to talk about, Mrs. Davner? It's about Isaac. He's not back yet. He's supposed to be back. I warn you, Glory, that attacking an FBI agent with a chainsaw is a federal offense. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It's just, you were going to stop the Brotherhood. I couldn't let you. Isaac needed to finish his journey. Why are you worried about Isaac now? You're the one who helped the hidden... help them take him. You don't understand. It was the only way to save him. Save him? Isaac was troubled. The Brotherhood offered us a way to cure him. How are the Brotherhood supposed to cure Isaac? Some kind of spiritual thing, I guess. Neither of us really understood it, but we were desperate. Do you have any idea where the hidden people would have taken Isaac? The hidden people aren't real. But I saw them taking Isaac away. It's the Brotherhood. They lied. What do you mean when you say the Brotherhood lied? Bjorn talked about finding peace by communing with forest spirits. I thought it was a... what's the word? A metaphor? No, a crock. But we'd try anything. And now Isaac's missing. In the lodge, I saw a photo of you and Isaac with the rest of the Brotherhood. They said they could help us, help Isaac. But they've been taking people. They took Isaac. It's all my fault. They took Isaac? Have you told the Sheriff? The Sheriff knows. He's working with them. Look, um, Glory, I'd like to stay and talk, but... You've got to get the missing person files. I, uh, 
That's actually a good idea. I'll make sure Sheriff Bob stays in the diner. Find out anything you can about Isaac. I finally got some help, more or less, in finding Isaac Davner. His wife, Glory, believes that the local cult is behind all the missing person cases in Scoggins. I'm going back to the sheriff's office to find out exactly what he's hiding in his files. Oh, Mr. Scroffman, you've been there the whole time. Mm-hmm. 